about my um, birthday or lack of it uh, today. Um, celebrating my 53rd birthday, and as usual, uh, no one was around to celebrate it with me. But going back to being alone on, on one's birthday, you know, this is something where it's really starting to hit home, and I just wish one person, and I don't even mean people just on social media, anybody would have said, hey, Eddie, would, would I be able to come out and spend your birthday with you? And I don't know, it seems like this is something that should be so simple, and it should be so easy, but it's so hard for people. I mean, I just wish one one person could have said, hey, Eddie, I, I really would like to spend your birthday with you so you're, you're not by yourself. You know, people, there's some people that will go and they'll tell me something like, oh, Eddie, you know, no one's really alone. Well, you know, it's funny that the people that generally say that they have a significant other, they have family, they have people in their lives, they have people in the real world that want to do things with them, that respect them, that want to have activities with them. You know, the funny thing is, um, you remember when that show on America's Most Wanted was on, I joke, I say, I'm not like America's Most Unwanted. Why don't they put me on a show, right? Put me on a reality show. People, one of the men that people don't want, really want. I'll see, I'll know, I know for a fact there's people, as far as men go, that have, you know, less character than me, that are, you know, they're not as nice as far as their personality goes. They're not as scrupulous as I am, and they have all kinds of things in their life and you know it gets very frustrating when you see you know people that you know based on you know who they are and they'll have a lot more like than i do and i'm just you know i couldn't even get one person to spend my birthday with me and it, it gets it when i say it hits home it feels like very demeaning and demoralizing it it makes me feel like i'm not even worth anything and i have you know, I was telling you before, you know, I've had a number of things that are negative that are happening to me. You know, I'm a pretty, last time I checked, I'm a pretty good guy. You know, I'm not out hurting anybody or anything. You know, I try to help people out. You know, I just wish, you know, I think it's been about, a, it might be close to a year since somebody actually wrote me and said, Hey, Eddie, are you okay? How is your living situation? To have to deal with this and to be alone again, another day is just going to go, this day is just going to go right by, just like all my other days in recent time, and, and there'll be nothing more of happening. You know, the thing is, um, this will be, again, another another birthday going by with nobody around, you know, celebrated, sadly, and I just, you know, I don't understand, you know, why... You know, people over time, and I guess it's the internet has become more popular over the years, people have become more cold and callous. And, you know, I, I sense sadly that as a society we've become, you know, collectively more self-protective, more about self-aggrandizement, we're less about other people. We don't understand, you know, as long as it seems like for a lot of people, as long as they have their stability, you know, they, they're able to have their home, they have their family, their friends, their enjoyment, you know, let's just forget about everybody else, and that's really not the way to be. You know, here I am, the days keep going by and by, and I just ask people, to, to actually physically be part of my life. And, and it's really the reality is hardly anybody wants to do that. And I'll never, I'll probably never understand that completely. You know, it just seems like one person could have offered to say, hey, Eddie, you know what, maybe I could spend, let's, let's at least talk. Maybe I could somehow spend my birthday with you. What happens is you wind up seeing uh, people on there with photographs and seeing their enjoyment and how ebullient they are and see and, and you see how they're prospering in their life and what it does it just causes more despondency and sadness on my part i'm happy for my friends that are flourishing and what have you but what's terrible is that when i see that though unfortunately it's a reminder of the things i don't have in my life and and again i mean i'm you could tell my background i'm not looking for a palace or anything have a million bucks i'm just looking for at this point maybe to have you know a little better you know a more affordable place to stay and have somebody you know have a you know some you know a few more people that are there for me and truly care and it seems like those things you know become almost insurmountable and then and then to have one person celebrate my birthday with me where that that should not have been a, a challenge but unfortunately it i guess it, it has become one for me 
And, you know, I, you know, my grandma told me, God rest her soul, one time she said, Eddie, you know, it's not about the quality of the person you are. You know, when I was looking for a job, you know, she told me, I don't remember her exact words, it's about your credentials and your experience, what you have. And I have to remember, you know, that may apply to other things as well. A lot of things, sadly, are not about the quality of a person. It's where we are in our stature in life. And that's where you're, you know, suffering right now. And you know uh, that's really basically what I want to get at and you know maybe next year you know somebody will be out there for me and, you know or, you know, reach out and say hey Eddie you know maybe I could spend you know the birthday with you because this is just really I mean be honest with you I'm infuriated I, I feel like I should have had somebody today for God's sakes excuse my language Jesus but really please I mean this is ridiculous I mean it, it would not kill somebody to have offered you know, to have, um, you know, it be there for me today. And, you know, it just, it makes me, you know, when things like this happen, it makes me not want to do anything for anybody. And that's how, that's how irritating this can be.